History of Space Exploration In this lesson, we shall learn about space exploration and its history. Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, a Russian rocket scientist, was the pioneer of astronautic theory. Rockets work on the principle of Newton's third law of motion. The fuel in the rocket burns quickly and releases large amount of gases. The engine pushes the gas out, which in turn pushes the rocket forward. A mixture of liquid hydrogen and oxygen is used as liquid fuel, while powdered mixture of ammonium perchlorate or ammonium nitrate and aluminium are used as solid fuel. Rockets carry scientific instruments or devices called payloads. Most rockets are made up of two or three stages. They are known as multi-stage rockets. When a stage uses up all of its fuel, it then falls back into some ocean or burns in the atmosphere. This helps to reduce the weight of the rocket. The main drawbacks of multi-stage rockets are 1. Staging may result into failures like separation ignition or stage collision. 2. It is very costly. Sputnik 1 was the first ever satellite launched in 1957 by Russia. America launched its first satellite in 1958, named Explorer 1. The first human in space was Yuri Gagarin on 12th April 1961. The first person to do spacewalk was Alexei Leonov on 18th March 1965. Neil Armstrong was the first man to land on moon on 21st July 1969. He was accompanied by Michael Collins and Buzz Aldrin. The first space stations launched by Russia and America are Salyut 1 and Skylab in 1971 and 1973, respectively. India's first satellite was Rohini, launched in 1980. Space Shuttle is a partially reusable spacecraft to carry astronauts and cargo to space and back again. A space shuttle is composed of three parts. One, reusable orbiter vehicle or OV. Two, expandable external tank. And three, two reusable solid rocket boosters, SRBs. A space shuttle is launched in a vertical direction like a rocket. At liftoff, the orbiter's main engine and the solid rocket boosters all fire together. During flight, the boosters are dropped down in some pre-decided location using a parachute. Usually, oceans are chosen for this. A few minutes later, the external fuel tank separates 
and it disintegrates in the Earth's atmosphere. The winged orbiter uses its orbital maneuvering system to reach the correct orbit. While coming down, the orbiter passes through different layers of atmosphere and slows down due to aero braking. Friction produced due to its high speed releases a large amount of heat energy. To protect against this heat, the outer surface is made up of a special alloy. The Space Shuttle Challenger disintegrated just after its launch on 28 January 1986. Another space shuttle named Columbia disintegrated while re-entry on 1st February 2003. Kalpana Chavla was the Indian astronaut killed in it. The now retired space shuttle fleet include Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Atlantis and Andhavar. Satellite is a celestial body orbiting the Earth or another planet. It is a smaller heavenly object revolving around a bigger object. Satellites can be natural or artificial. The Moon is the natural satellite of Earth. A man-made automatic system revolving around the Earth and other planets is known as an artificial satellite. It is launched in space with a special purpose. Satellite communication has two main components. The ground segment, fixed or mobile transmission and reception equipment and the space segment, satellite segment. When any transmission or uplinking of a signal from an earth station is sent to the satellite, the latter amplifies the signal and retransmits it back to earth, where it is received and reamplified by earth stations and terminals. India has launched various satellites like Rohini, S-ROS, IRS series, Resource Sat, Carto Sat satellites using our own rockets. Insat series was launched with the help of other countries. The minimum speed required to keep a satellite in orbit is 8 km per second. There are two different orbits for artificial satellites. The orbit which is parallel to the equator is known as an equatorial orbit. The orbit which is parallel to the meridian is known as a polar orbit. A satellite which is seen stationary from Earth is known as a geostationary satellite. Its revolution period is 24 hours and its height is 35,786 kilometers. The entire Earth can be linked together with the help of three geostationary satellites. Polar satellites are launched at a height of about 1,000 km with a period of 2 hours or less. The time interval in which a polar satellite passes through a particular location is called repeating time. Artificial satellites are used in the following areas. 1. Communication. 2. Weather forecast. And 3. Remote sensing. Communication. 1. 
Satellites are used for telecommunication, television transmission, radio and computer networks. 2. Satellites also help in supporting spying and other military activities. Weather forecast. 1. Satellites take photographs of clouds, provide useful information about surface temperature of oceans, temperature of various layers of atmosphere, humidity in the atmosphere, etc. 2. It forecasts regarding monsoon or sudden climatic changes that can cause hurricanes or storms. Remote sensing is the method by which information about a substance or a phenomenon can be obtained using scientific instruments without direct contact with them. One, with the help of satellites, we can carry out geological survey of metallic ores, changes in forest and environment, water and agricultural resources, etc. Two, it provides information about diseases of crops. And three, used in oceanography and study of movements of fishes.